we're going to start with the standard bridge and roll. Um, this is possibly uh, the, the first move that you ever taught. The one that you should use the most, the one that's neglected the most. Um, the way that you're taught it and the way that it's used can be vastly different. Uh, I'm going to break this down into three or four parts so we understand why we do it and how we do it. Mark this on now. First of all, is my partner has a uh, has a chest up a little bit on me. So what I'm doing is I never want to reach up to go and grab my partner. My arm bars, the other is my arm pivot, etc. You know? So first things first is I always pray. Secondly, is when I bridge, I don't do the standard bridge because anytime I raise my hips here, it goes straight by and he pins me down. So what I'm doing instead is this, watch carefully, is I'm gonna, if my hands are predominantly on the right hand side, it's my right knee that does the work. If my hands on the left hand side, it's my left knee. Watch carefully. Okay. Two, two things, one motion. And again. Bridge. Now, okay. I don't do this. I'm committed, both my feet are committed, he just doesn't slide up nice and high. So watch again. Right? He can't progress any further. Bridge. No. So. See everyone understands. On the outside, never trap on the inside. It's on the outside, never trap on the inside. Once again, frame, make sure you reinforce your frame. That means it's, that system breaks it. If it's here, that's going to slide. It's not reinforced. Back it up. You can understand that. My knee goes up, so you can't break by that leg, my leg, and I mean forward on the outside. So you can understand. Okay. This is the part that everyone in the entire world, apart from me, I'm talking, um, doesn't understand. This is important. But just that. And it's not trapping the foot, it's putting my hamstring onto his leg. Second part, look where I want to go, slide my hips where I want to go, don't bridge. If I bridge, he pulls his foot out. So once I'm here, turn it flat. Extend, slide. Now, break. My left leg plants. As I raise my hips, I'm kicking him, trapping on the outside, ERG. Put a weight on his ankle so he can't move. Slide my hips, don't bridge, come up, lock, look at your guard pass mine. One, two, three. Go. Um, this is my theory, and this is what I've worked out. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it's one of the reasons why I do this. And um, if I'm on mount, this is what I'm looking for, man. So I'm going to explain it to you and why I don't secondary or why I don't do a second bridge. I'm going to ask them now. I'm going to start with talking to you. So I go, I engage my left leg, bring it in. My right knee goes nice and high, kick my partner and I trap it. Now, let's just say I'm going to go really slow. He knows I'm going to do a bridge and roll. I'm going to talk Omar through this. As soon as he feels me bite, it's going to bring his left knee to the ceiling and his right knee behind my back. Uh-oh. What happens? Yeah, arm bar, bow and arrow. So what I see people do is they kind of go, okay, plant, 
bridge, he uh, trapped the arm. And he goes, I'm sick. And he just waits. I just go, bridge. He just, and I'm like, man. So I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm doing my bridge and roll. But because I'm not trapping that foot, he gets a free upgrade. And he can, he can basically take my back, bow and arrow, etc. So if we go back to stage where we're here, and I go like that, he goes, man, this guy's an idiot. He's going to bridge and roll. And I'm like, slide. What happens? I don't bridge. If he's waiting for that bridge, or whether he's not waiting for that bridge, he can't retract the foot out. He can't upgrade and take my back because I'm on the leg. So the theory behind it is if I'm here, my weight, if my knee's coming towards his knee, that's the part that he's trying to lift up. If I'm down by the ankle, it can still lift his leg up. So what I'm doing is one time is I bring it out wide. Now, watch this, is I slide all my weight onto, and he can't take my back because his knee's trapped underneath. Second thing is when I get to here, I'm the outside of the guard, I'm not on the inside of the guard. I'm in a guard pass position. I don't end up where I'm inside the full guard and I have to deal with stuff. Let's have a look at that one more time. Come on, Alan. So for me, and this is such a small detail, when I'm in Omar's position, I will actually go collar choke and wait for them to, this, to take the arm bar. Because they think wicked. So they go, uh huh. And all I'm waiting for is that. I'm like, idiot, I don't actually say that. I just think it out loud. Um, there's a difference. So, <laughs> as I preach, and also it's like, man, you've got everything that you want. Right? Where? Swap positions, and I go here, and he goes, man, idiot, and I go, idiot. And he goes, what to go and do? Now, slide, tap, look, I'm physically past the guard already. So for me, that secondary, you can bridge to cap the arm to trap it. But then you're sliding to roll them over. You're going to get. You're not going to end up inside their full guard. They're going to get caught off guard because they're waiting for that secondary bridge. But it's all about making sure that I minimise his motions and that space. I don't get that space for him to pull that leg out. Yeah, let's go again, guys. One, two, three. This is the next part, man. Um, action, reaction, and flow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Action, reaction, and flow. I know if I do certain things underneath mouth, they're going to respond by doing certain things back to me. And from both top and from both bottom. So, um, this was best described to me as like time travel. I know what you're going to do before you do it, and I'm setting my trap up so that when you do do it, I'm ready to do what I do do. Uh, Mark is on mount. Um, so, frame, I'm talking through it nice and slow. When I do this is I put my toes down, not my heels down, my toes. This makes me more dynamic, I can explode more. It also means that if my heel's down, there's no load behind him. He up, my hips engage. So by default, he's slightly coming forward. Heel down, he can put his weight backwards into me. Yeah, so heel up. Okay, what I'm doing is as I bridge, I'm trying to kick my partner forward. He up, he goes, no way, and pulls arm backwards. I just go backwards, I fade. When I catch the heart, I'm already in position. So, as I go to chuck the arm, I know he's going to pull the arm backwards. This is that frame system becomes the push system. So this frame system becomes the push system. I don't want to have to kind of go, I'm trapping, I'm pushing. That's why I try to trap on the outside. I don't want to try to trap on the inside. My frame system is compromised. Watch again. I'm going to go nice and slow. Frame. Engage. Nudge. Trap. It goes no way. Pause. I go straight back. 
Arch Kessman. The leg that was nudged has not hit the ground yet. That goes straight. As it goes straight, I'll push and turn. That would enable me to catch the half guard really easy. The biggest thing on the half guard for me is the knee squeeze and turn. I'll cover that in a second. So, watch this. This leg's the key. Pulls your arm out. It's a, it's a kind of uh, a, a strange dynamic. When you get it, it's quite good. I'm up. So, frame. See how you get loaded where here. Yeah. Keep like loaded forward, loaded backwards. Such a small thing. Loaded forward. Now. Boom, push the arm out, here. Boom, okay, now watch, here. This is the hardest part of that entire thing. Here you go, turn. Boom, push the arm out. You want to see that one more time? The phone system doesn't change. Legs, kicks, and he keeps raising the board. Legs in the back. TRG. Slow motion. As he pulls the arm out, I simply go back to my frame. Come here. Keep my legs straight. Push. Back. Knee squeeze. So I go back my feet. Turn my hips. Turn my knee. I push my top of the leg. I push my feet out. Guys, two minutes, one, two, three. Now, I'm, I have like a, a, a system I play and um, bridging to escape um, isn't high on my escape criteria. Um, even from side control and that, it, it's not a, a high, but the fact that I have to plan both my feet and close up my back to bridge and roll, I think that there's better ways to do that. But I'm like, you know, if you just bridge here, I'm not exposing my back, they can't attack my back, they can't touch me. Every time that I'm trying to trap and bridge and roll, I'm, I'm exposing half of my back. Both my feet are planted. They can step over, they can, there's stuff that happens. So, um, the next one that I do is when the person's going to tighten out to me, and every time that I bridge, they're just going to keep going higher and higher. So, I've got what I call like a, a, a sidewinder escape, and everyone's going to get it wrong to start with. Not everyone, most people will, because we're pre programmed to hip escape. We're not hip escaping. So the way I do it is, um, I'm trying to go here, and I'm trying to keep my hips flat. So I'm trying to keep my hips flat. What I should do is I start to go like that, then knees start to turn. So I'm trying to keep my knees as they are, and I'm just sliding. As soon as your knees turn, you're exposing. Right. And this took me ages to work out and uh, a lot of time to get into, the, into my system when and where to put in my system. But I'll, I'll go through in, in a, a nutshell so you understand. So Mike just got mouth on me. So anytime that I engage my feet, 
Every time that I engage my foot, every time that I bridge, he's got the ability to roll with me, come higher, I take my arm. So what we're doing instead is I get my playing system. I'm working on the same side for the, uh, for the video. I plant my feet. So all I want to do is I want to create a distance between his legs and my elbows. So I just put that knee to elbow escape or actually elbow to knee escape. So what I found was that every time I started to roll my knees and I would do this, he would eventually just climb up and my armpits. But if I felt like this, it's harder for him because he can't upgrade. What I mean by that is, uh, stop that touching this. Anytime that I lift one of his knees off the ground and make one of his knees become light, he can move it. So if I'm turning to the side, the knee becomes light so he can move it. But if I'm just going side to side so that there's no ability to change the weight by going side to side, not up and down, it's hard for him to upgrade. No matter who. So I go frame system, and all I try to do is get space to get this in. And it's always, I, I go front on that side, so there's a side. So I want to if I turn my knees, you can already feel, I'm, I'm almost dragging you higher on the surrounds. Where if I go side to side, it's really hard to keep it. And most people do that, they get, whoa, what's going on? So I don't have to do it fast, but I have to kind of make it a constant motion. So just make it a constant motion. Two things are gonna happen is they're going to fall and grab my head with which will roll escape. They're going to stay upright, push the frame to half guard or guard rescue. So when I do this, any time that my frame system, so let me just add a frame system. So the strength of my frame system is this. Any time my frame system extends, she's got the ability to go back side my frame. So when I'm here, this doesn't follow me. It's just this. And it's this really easy way. She upgrades, but because I haven't moved my hips, I'm already in my guard. So, so, so guys get in the habit of this. And this. And then. But knee to elbow. Elbow to me. Okay, grab your partner, one, two, three. Look, um, cadence, uh, cadence, uh, rhythm, timing. So, Josh, your mouth. Um, the two things, don't chase, don't chase with your friends. Never let him get back side of the elbow. Right. So, I'm going to go one, Two, three. If he's on that side, I'm pushing that way. If he's on this side, I'm pushing this way. But my frame, I'm not doing that. It's just enough for me to come out. I don't need to keep my arm extended too far. Secondly, once you're here, right, it's your choice. Right, do you want to get up? Do you want to go back to guard? Do you want to go for an ankle lock? The hand is up to you. If you want to knock your partner over, it goes top of body. If you want to knock your partner over, it goes top and bottom. I take out his post and I knock him over. If you guys want a wrestler? Here. Wrestler. If you want a sweep? Take out the post, change his balance point, sweep. Right, you've got so many options from here. Second one is it's threes. Right. Uh, for some reason, three seems to be a really good number. Uh, 
One, two, three, four. What was the difference I did then? What's my favorite? One, two, three. I'm on the hip. I'm putting the hip down. He can't chase me. He's on the wrong side of the arm bar. Was always wait. Now that's me. I'm out of here. To me, Does that make sense? Um, so, we're going to uh, start one person on the mount, other person on the mount. The person on top of the mount, you're just going to try and hold mount at 20%. The person underneath, you're just trying to get out. We'll do this for a little bit, a couple of two minute rounds. And then we'll come back and do a Q&A to address anything that we have troubles with and we'll fix it up. So grab a drink, put your mouth guns in, rock, one, two, three.